am delivering at a house today and it's a little flooded. So now I have the customer unloading the portage on because uh, I'm in like uh, eight inches of water. Let's see if he can do it. Drop off. We thought it was gonna be quick and easy. As you can see, they are flooded here. So when we drop them off for parties, we, we, they're clean already. Just from driving down the road, they get a little bit dusty. So um, they're clean, ready to go. So we put the toilet paper in, and then we spray smelly stuff around and wipe them down real good. And this year, we've uh, turned my express units into regular PJ3s. So. Uh, we built them so they won't come apart. We added shelves and coat hooks on the inside too. So all my standard units have this in there now. So it's kind of a little nice little upgrade that we've done. So when people are drinking, they have some place to put their cup for it won't go in the toilet. That's what we hope. And what we always say when we're done, looks good, smells good. It's good to go. Um, our first busiest weekend of the year, I have over 35 portage johns going out, which is really good, and we're at a church setting up for a uh, running race. Running race, running race, running, running, running race, running race, running race, running, running, running race. And we got a handicap over there and an applause sink that we just already set up. Now we're setting up just three. We got three units going here in the Bravo, and we've got the Bravo here filling up with water. So this won't take too long to set these up, and it's just a one-day event, so pretty easy. So what we have here is a... We got a beer can, maybe? 